fans of Vaughn Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi. This is the place to be in college football right now. The scene in the Grove, one of college football's best, where they never lose a party. And this is uh, a scene that never gets old. It just couldn't be more perfect. We've got to find a head coach that can walk into a room and, and absolutely take over that room. Wow, what a great day to be a Rebel, without a doubt. A great day to be a Rebel. So I want to take and welcome everybody to the pavilion at Ole Miss, the best place to watch college basketball in the entire country, without a doubt. What a great facility. Today's an out exciting and outstanding day for the Ole Miss family, and in particular for our football program. First, I want to acknowledge the exceptional job done by our athletic director, Keith Carter. Keith, thank you. He's moving swiftly and decisively to position Ole Miss athletics for a new era of success. I want to thank Keith for his tremendous leadership and his vision that got us to today's announcements. And I want to thank all of you and all of Rebel Nation, especially those of you who came out today to show Coach Giffen what passionate fans we have. Coach, the best in America, and I know you know that. I know you know that. When the search process began for head football coach, I asked Keith to find a coach who possessed three traits. That's all I asked him, just three traits. Number one, a proven record of success. Number two, an understanding of the competitive landscape of the SEC, because it's our desire not just to compete, but it's our desire to win. That's what we're all about, and that's who we're going to be. And finally, the leadership and the ability, and it's on display right here today, to excite our fans, to excite our fans. And in short, Keith absolutely nailed it. He absolutely did. So on behalf of the university, I am so excited to extend a warm hotty toddy welcome to our new head football coach, Lane Kiffin. And now it's my pleasure to bring Keith forward to do the honors. All right, Looks, feels like everybody's pretty excited. That's great. That's great. Uh, thank you to Chancellor Boyce for your support and leadership throughout this process. Uh, he was great. Uh, helped me along the way to, to get this thing done. Uh, I want to thank our search uh, partner, Chad Chatlos with Ventura Partners, who uh, was also very instrumental, uh, obviously helped with a lot of different things, confidentiality and so many different things. Um, the next thing, do we have any former football players here? If you're a former football player, stand up. Let's give these folks a round of applause. Absolutely, absolutely. Current guys, 
We got some current guys right here. Stand up if you're a current football player. Let's go. That's right. Uh, and I want to say thank you to our staff as well. Uh, throughout this process, there's been so many different people that have been instrumental in helping with the transition. So thank you to all of our staff. Too many to name individually, but thank you so much. Uh, I want to welcome Coach Kiffin's family here today. We have Landry, Presley, and Knox. And I think, I think that everybody in here is pretty excited. But I don't think anybody was excited as Knox was Saturday morning when we saw that, right? Huh? No, that was awesome. Uh, and Coach's parents are here, other family members are here, and, and we welcome them to Oxford as well. Uh, when I stood before you last week, I talked about finding a coach that would bring energy, passion, and a track record for success. We talked about a, somebody who would be a program builder, and someone who could galvanize and help unite Rebel Nation. As I got started with the search, I spoke to a number of potential candidates trying to identify a person that could check all of those boxes and also be a great representative of our flagship, flagship institution. We had a tremendous response from qualified coaches around the country, but one name stood out. I knew Lane Kiffin was highly respected and one of the brightest minds in college football, but as we went through the process, I learned so much more about him. Coach Kiffin is an innovator. He has engineered some of the most creative and high-powered offenses in college football. Regardless of the conference, talent level, or size of the stage, his teams have exhibited toughness, cutting edge play calling, and they put a lot of points on the board. Coach, yeah, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Coach Kiffin has a championship pedigree. He's been a part of dynasties at Alabama and USC, working under two of the most respected coaches in the sport. And obviously, he grew up in a football family with his legendary father, Monty Kiffin, who's with us here today. <laughs> Coach Kiffin is a program builder. In his most recent position, he inherited a struggling program at FAU and immediately turned them into a championship program with two titles in the last three years down in Boca. And finally, Coach Kiffin is a lightning rod. As you have seen, his presence alone can generate confidence, energy, and a swagger that inspires student athletes to reach their full potential while galvanizing Rebel Nation. But I also learned who Coach Kiffin is as a person. He has spent his life under the microscope, and he talked about how much he has grown on that journey. He's experienced the highest levels of the sport, and it has shaped him into the leader that he is today. He has a passion for student athletes and wants to help mold them as men and prepare them for life after football. Once I sat down with Coach Kiffin, I immediately re realized that we had a shared vision for Ole Miss football. I was very impressed with his knowledge of Ole Miss and his interest in our job. We talked about Rebel football having an opportunity to compete at the highest level and win championships. Yep, thank you, thank you. And finally, we talked about locking arms together and building a consistent winner that can sustain long-term success. So with that, I couldn't be more excited to introduce our newest Rebel, your new head football coach, Lane Kiffin. Thank you, guys. Um, you know, we talked about former football players. You know, are there any former All-American basketball players here? <laughs> please, please stand up. <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you. I'm extremely honored to stand here today. You know, the the support, the excitement uh, at the airport was amazing. You know, to get off the plane. Um, and had what seemed like thousands of people there. Uh, just made you feel so welcome uh, to myself and now to my family today. Uh, it's been really amazing in, what, 12 hours or something. So, you know, this has been a long journey. 
you know, about 10 years ago, all right, we left the SEC, okay, and now we're coming back. You know, there, there's nothing like it. You know, I've said before, there's football, and then there's the SEC. And so... No matter where you go, um, no matter where you coach, all right, there is nothing like it. And so um, being away from it for three years, you know, sometimes when you leave something, you know, then you realize what it really is. And so um, we had a great three years um, down at Florida Atlantic. Like you mentioned, winning two, two conference championships, two uh, 10, 11 win seasons, but there was something missing, you know, and there, there was something missing myself you know, walking out into those stadiums and the energy around it, the tailgating around it before, the night before, the hotels. And so just extremely excited to be back. And um, everyone around this program is extremely important. Everyone here today, our players, okay, and how we represent it on and off the field. You know, this is a partnership here coming together today that I believe takes Ole Miss to a national level where we can go... where we can have the ability now to go anywhere in the nation, find the best players, and get them to come play right here. So um, the number one goal in the program, you know, that you can be proud of, all right, is the way that we do it. We play exciting football, compete for championships, and something that you're really proud of and that you're excited on Saturday morning when you wake up to get over to that stadium. <clears throat> so many people to, to thank uh, that I wouldn't be here um, today without you know, the kids coming here, uh, they're excited and I already have felt very welcomed by the people so far. Uh, Chancellor for bringing me here, uh, Keith Carter and everyone involved in this process, we're very grateful, we're very humbled and we're very honored for that. You know, I've been very fortunate to work with some of the best coaches in the history of all of sports and, you know, to be raised by my dad, be around him and all his success and how he's handled himself. You know, then to go work for Pete Carroll and learn for six years from him, which was an amazing experience there, 34 straight wins, three Heisman Trophy winners. And then, <laughs> then to be able to work with the late Hall of Famer Al Davis was an amazing opportunity. And then lastly, uh, the three years prior to going to Florida Atlantic to work for Coach Saban. Very grateful for the opportunity he gave me. Really, I feel like, you know, kind of put a stamp on me, you know, that, hey, this guy can coach. And so those three years, you know, very grateful for those, but those made me that much better. So when we can come here today to take a job like this, all right, we have an exact plan of how to do this to combine these people I just talked about, the systems, the things you learn from them, to be able to come in here and do this thing at a very high level. So we're very excited for this new chapter of my journey. And this program has great history, tradition, from the Mannings to the Grove, Coach Vaught, Walk of Champions, Chucky Mullen. So we're excited to get started and very grateful again. You know, we're gonna create a culture here that our players, our coaches want to be at versus have to. And so we say that a lot around here. You know, that you're excited when you wake up in the morning, all right, to come to work. You're excited to go to those 6 a.m. workouts, players, because you know you're going to get better. There's going to be a high energy and a great atmosphere that you want to be a part of. You know, we, we didn't come here to be good, all right? That's not why we're here today. We came here to be great. And this was not a, hey, we're going to take a job just to get back to the SEC. You know, I did an interview just yesterday, and someone said, well, this place doesn't have tradition like the place you've been. I said, well, I know what tradition is. I remember this. I remember at Alabama coming down here playing in this matchup, and in three years we only lost two games, and they were both told Miss. You know, we want to win, but we also, we need to earn the right to win. And so that takes a lot of work that we're starting today. You know, this program will be built on old school principles, okay, with a new school mindset of how to do that. 
So that combination of new way of thinking, you know, we don't just do things a certain way because they've been done that way. We're always evolving, whether it's analytics, technology, recruiting, player development, sports science, game management at the highest level. You know, we're always learning, always evolving. And that, that these last six years, okay, at the two stops, was able to watch things. And so that when we had this opportunity to come back to the greatest conference here, all right, we'd be ready to do this thing the right way and win. <clears throat> You know, a huge priority for us obviously will be our, be our staff. And so we're gonna hire a great staff of coaches that come in here that help our players develop on and off the field. You know, and so one of the things going through this process that I was asked, you know, how are you different than you were say 10 years ago? And, you know, I used to coach thinking that my job was to win games, to get the players to the NFL. And that was it. And now I understand okay, developing the players off the field, developing relationships with them and chemistry with them. And so we're helping them way beyond just football. So we're excited to get that started here, excited to represent Ole Miss. Spoke to the commissioner today. Um, he's excited for us, good talk with him and um, excited to work with him. Very familiar with this league, as you guys know, a lot of these head coaches in this league I've worked with before. So. It's time to get to work. Again, honored to be the head coach at Ole Miss. Can't thank everyone enough that's been involved, all right? We need the fans, alumni, former players, all right, all united, all right, everybody on the same page, all right, which is to win championships. And last thing, you know, message to recruits around the country. You know, if you want to be featured at the highest level, in the best conference in the world, compete, compete for championships, and be completely prepared for the NFL with a pro mindset, which is what we do every day with these kids, okay? A pro mindset so that you can come here, you can win championships in the best conference, and you can get drafted the highest by coming here. There's no reason to go anywhere else but come right here to Ole Miss. Again, guys, thanks for coming out. All right, we're not going to be here a long time today doing a lot of talking because we're going to go to work and get this thing done. Thanks again. Yeah.